The gospel singles can't be trusted. I'm going to say it again. The gospel singles can't be trusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of them are preachers. I know a lot of them are pastors. But they have they bottom line. They have their livelihood to think about. They have their record sales to think about. So when it comes to standing or going to battle for God they can't be trusted they just sing they just sing and a lot of them that pass the churches they preach in a way too that don't rattle in the cages they preach they try to preach in a way that don't step on anybody's toes they try to preach in a way that they don't uh, uh, uh what they call it criticize or they, they they message don't have no depth to it down in the country they call it sugar coated preaching They can't be trusted. Time is getting tough. Time is getting tight for the Christians in the United States and around the world. People are starting to come up in churches and uh, passing out bullets, stuff like that. I'm telling y'all, a lot of them preachers, their scenes, let trouble come in their church. They already hidden deep behind security. They already showing that they are scared. Trouble come up in the church. They're going to be the first somebody trying to duck out of there. But they supposed to be the first somebody that run to the trouble. I'm telling y'all, y'all remember that movie scene, a uh, lottery ticket, when that pastor ducked out the church when trouble came. That's where a lot of them are today. That's what they gonna do. They ain't willing. They ain't willing to go all the way for the Lord. They ain't sold out for Jesus. They'll get on the stages and perform and act like they got the Holy Ghost. Notice I said act, they act like they got the Holy Ghost. And that's after they made sure they done got all that money. But when it come down to really going to war, they ain't ready. You can't depend on them. We can't depend on them. For God I live, for God I die, it don't apply to them. They have shown us, they have shown us too many times that they kind of cowardly. See how they came to the media? See how they go on them outlets and won't stand up? I told y'all in the previous video, they can't do it. They compromise. They wear life. Is in jeopardy. Their names are in jeopardy. Anybody call themselves supposed to be a, a born believer, follow Christ, don't have no business running around worried about your name and your reputation. But it is exactly what it's done come to. 
Who's your name? My name bigger than yours. My name who? who? We know that person. We don't know that person. We know these people. Ooh, they can sell more tickets. Ooh, they can pack out a ring. Ooh, we don't know. Hey, the Bible tells us to stay away from the world. The gospel music industry is, is just a branch of this world music industry, the worldly music industry. Gospel music really did start to take off, to take off until the early 90s when the community choirs started to gain popularity. The old traditional singers like the quartet singles and all them, they, they was always singing like, uh, if you go back to the uh, Soul Stirs and even far that, that type of singing was always around, always around. But it went mainstream and, and it couldn't draw sales. It wasn't marketable. It was only I'm not a I'm not a gospel history guru, but I know a little bit about it. It was it wasn't until the nineties when the gospel music, the gospel music, I'm saying gospel music, started to take off and gain attention and trash. It started becoming marketable. Now, nowadays, if you say traditional choir, quartet, quartet is still considered at the bottom, but everybody are able to make some money now. A lot of them have contracts. Contemporary artists are at the very top. But it's not supposed to be that way. According to the Bible, the Bible say in the book of Colossians, I think in the second book of Colossians, sing him and praises. Throughout the Bible, you see where it says sing him and praises. You might have talent to write songs and to do music, but when it comes to that Bible, in God, you out of line. The Bible says, "Seeing Him and praises." Seeing Him and praises. I don't see nothing in the script in the scripture talking about gospel artists. You can see inspiration to people, and your motives better be right. Cause you singing inspiring to God yourself, and not supposed to be about money. But that's the way of the world. The church don't went the way of the world. You can't get hard to get nobody to open their mouth and say anything about God, whether it's singing or preaching, if it ain't about a dollar. A lot of singers that I know now. Grew up in my area. They're well known and stuff. People don't grew up. It used to be before before the money and fame came. You wouldn't have no problem getting them to stand up in an empty church and sing. You wouldn't get no have no problem getting them to preach in an empty church. They would they were singing preach because they love the Lord. Now when the money came, fame done came. You hard pressed to find somebody who's gonna volunteer do anything for the Lord nowadays. These preachers. You better not go to them talking about we need you to preach. Can you preach for about two or three hundred dollars? Can you preach for free? Preaching for free is out of the question. Although you see scriptures in the Bible telling them not to preach for money. First book of Peter, chapter 5. Titus, chapter 1. First Timothy, chapter 3. First Timothy, chapter 6. Don't go after money. But look at these gospel artists. They love the world. They get on that stage, they act like they're full of the Holy Ghost. But when they off stage, 
when they don't flew back home, they, they in their mansions, they are, what they doing? They mingling with the world. Nas X, I mean, they got close friendship with the world. We can't depend on them. Nick Cannon, I don't have nothing against Nick Cannon, but you the world, look how many children he got. And you look how the so-called Christian evangelist from Detroit, look how close friends she are, she is with him. Look at him. Look around him. We need to know. We need to identify those who we know can't be trusted. Because them the ones that are stabbed you in the back. Those are the backstabbers. You can see your enemies coming, but it's the ones, them backstabbers you got to worry about. They ain't willing to put their life on the line for the Lord. They ain't sold out for the Lord. That's why you ain't gonna see them. That's why you don't see them out in public. When they do be out in public, they're afraid. They hidden behind security, locked out vehicles and all that. Ain't supposed to be. You're a child of God. You operating under the world system. You supposed to be different from the world. They show up to them concerts in the back from the back door. Y'all don't see them till they get on the stage and sing. When they got stage, they gone. They hop in their limos, get shuttled to the airport. They out of there. You rather see them before the concert, especially the mainstream artists. They go on tour. Then what they do when they get on stage? Play with God. Glorified cross dressers. I seen it. It's all a show. That's what they all about, a show. It's all a show. It's all for money. I don't care about they wear the title of pastors. Everybody is not fit to be preachers. And you definitely not fit to be pastors. Jesus said you put your hand to the gospel plow and look back, you're not fit for the kingdom. That's what Jesus said. Any man that put his hand to the gospel plow and look back, you ain't fit for the kingdom. 